Hi all, welcome to my first tutorial on Spring Embassy. Today we'll see how to create a dynamic web project for Spring Embassy. First of all, right click, sorry, click on new for dynamic web project. Give the project name as Spring Embassy. Next. So here you see new runtime, the target runtime. For me, it's selected because I have set up the Tomcat. So if it's not selected for you, go to new runtime, click on the whatever the version you want to install, Tomcat 6, 7 or 8, I want to install 7, go to next, browse to the directory, but before doing this, you need to download Apache Tomcat. So go to Google and search for Tomcat. It will show the first link tomcat.org download tomcat 7 or 8 whatever you want so for me I have downloaded tomcat 7 zip and download it and place in your system so from here go to browse and go to the location where you have downloaded Apache Tomcat so for me here is my location click on ok and finish it off so we have set up Tomcat. Now what we'll do is we'll select 2.5 for me 3.0 is not supported for Tomcat 7 so I have selected 2.5. We'll others leave it as it is. Click on next. Now click on next. So keep this checkbox checked and click on finish. So now so for running the spring mbc we need the spring jars so you need to download the spring jars from the location here you don't worry i will place the location in my comments so click on here and download the spring jars in the next day what we'll do is we'll add the spring jars to my project so click on properties java build path libraries add library user create user will, will create user library click on next so i'm going to create new library so example spring mvc jars so click on ok add the jars browse to the location where you have downloaded those spring jars and zip it go to the folder and search for libs under the libs directory whatever the jars you have just select it all and click on ok so we have got all my jars here so another jar you need to add is apache logging common dot logging so i have added it same way you have done click on add external jars download apache commons logging from google here is the website from where you can download apache common logging click on download and we will get to download after downloading add it to the project so what we will do now is we will cancel it for me but what you will do is add library user library add those two libraries that we have just added click on finish so we have spring jars added in my project now we need to make sure the spring jars are in my java project build path so for that what we will do is we will click on add java build entries and click on this select all finish so now my spring embassy are in added to my build path as well so the next step will be how we will create a simple spring mvc project so for that we need the servlet mappings i have the servlet mapping previously done so i'm copying from the previous to save time uh, yeah here is my servlet so what this mapping says to us is whatever the okay, whatever the mapping request that comes with this URL 
search for this dispatcher it will go here and search for the class that is associated with this name so the dispatcher server which is the front controller in case of spring mvc so what we will do is what happens is whatever the incoming request comes it's handled by the front controller that is the dispatcher servlet now what we need to pass the request to the dispatcher servlet so we are doing this from here so if the request comes to the dispatcher servlet now what will it will do is it will search for the dispatcher servlet dot xml it will search for this file dispatcher servlet dot Excellent. Where it would find? It will search for this file in web.inf directory. So what we'll do is we'll create an XML file of this name. Now, the question is, what will this file contains? So this file contains all the bin configurations related to Spring MVC. We have the dispatcher servlet already created, so we'll just copy and paste it here. So now the incoming request is handled to the spring pins. So the bin handler it may be and the bin name UL handler mapping class will help the controller to search for the appropriate class. So as soon as the bin name bin handler mapping gets a request with this URL pattern the same as the bin name, it forwards a request to the controller class. So what is the controller class in our case? So we'll create and controller. Okay. Right click new package. Orch dot send dot controllers. Finish. Now what we'll do is we'll create a controller class. Please controller for me. Click and finish. So this base controller will extend app controller. This base controller extend abstract controller. So Modern implemented methods. So here it will do it will create a modern view. Model and view and we will add a message to my page uh, add object. Add object message comma my first so my first message okay return M So we'll go to dispatcher servlet. So now, what it actually does is, after receiving an HTTP request, the dispatcher servlet conserves the handler mapping, the handler mapping to handle the request and search for an appropriate controller. So the front controller here delegates the request to the controller. Now, what the controller does is, the controller will search will take this request and what we'll do is it will call all the methods and whatever the methods are called and will find out the view name and forwards the view to the dispatcher server forwards the view to the dispatcher server now what the view does what the dispatcher server does is it will it will go to view resolver to resolve its confusion so as the confusion is the confusion is where are those view files 
so this view resolver here tells the controller that hey controller here is your view files take this view files process the data and now the controller handles the view to the browser that we see um, so what we'll do here is we'll get the controller name the controller class so that is the controller class is org dot sn dot controllers correct now save this file we'll create a vector dynamic with view folder bie yes okay jsp we'll create a jsp file because that's missing that's our view JSP. Click on finish and print out the message here. Toggle. The way of printing out the variables is using dollar and within double brackets. So, what we'll do is we'll run the application. Run, click on next, finish. We got an error here. What is error? Okay. Cannot find class order standard controllers. Okay. So it's not able to find order standard controllers class. So what is the controller name in our case? Controller name is PS controller. Now what we'll do is it will reload the context. Yeah. Here is my spring MVC first. Thank you for watching my video. Please click on like. We'll come forward with more videos. Thank you.